Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So here you can see I am in restaurant DB uh, database and we have a table here orders and if I click on orders you can see we have ID, customer name, item name and status. I mean when a customer will actually order something then uh, we need to know the customer name, item name and, and status. So what uh, what is I'm going to change here is Actually, I want to set here one more column. I mean, I want to add here one more column for the customer ID because, you know, uh, multiple customer can contain the same name, Milan. Okay. So that time actually we need to know the customer ID, unique ID. So that actually we can uh, join through user and order table and we can actually fetch all the data. All right. So here I want to go to the structure here and I want to add one more column uh, before the customer name, customer ID also before the customer name. Okay and uh, not after id okay so after id i want to add the column go and here i want to set customer id customer underscore id so the customer and id will be the user id all right so here i need uh, integer right the customer id is integer and that's it so save and here you can see your customer id means user id so in the order stupid we have uh, status also so the status will be updated to admin or by the admin okay okay so uh, now let's go for the uh, orders customer can place order okay so go here and in the index here you can see that we have a button here now order now right so let's say uh, it's not logged in then it will actually took him to the login page and the customer will actually log in then they can actually order it so the order now if they click on order now it will actually go to the a new file okay so i'm going to create a new file there is a order underscore item dot php so let's go to the index.php and here i'm going to set the reference as order underscore now dot php So you can see order now dot php now. Let's go to the browser and I'm going to check here that how it's work. So I'll say that restaurant. And here you can see we are in home and now let's say I want to buy it. Yeah, I'm a customer. So I want to actually click here order now and it will actually go to the order now dot php. So here you can see I have, uh, you know, given here a wrong path. So I'll go here and I'll check it. So it's not order now. It's will be order item, right? Order item. Go back. Order now. And now you can see I the order uh, item PHP. So here I have to, you know, pass two things. So I have to pass two things with the parameter uh, because I need to know the uh, user. I mean, which user actually order it. Okay. So here I have to give a question mark and I have to write here a, you know, a variable, temporary variable, the variable, let's say that, uh, so I have to set here a variable, the variable name is, let's say user ID because I need to know the user ID and here I'm going to say equal and I'm going to say here PHP script and here I'm going to echo dollar row. Uh, not really. I'm I'm going to uh, you know paste it here. Session user ID. Echo session user ID. Now let's go and go back. Let's I want to buy now. Here you can see. Now we have user ID one o three. And if I go here, you can see I'm logged in as one o three, right? Yeah. So this is the one o three ID, and we are getting the IDs. All right. Here. You are getting ID, user ID 103. And I need to know the product uh, ID also. All right. So here, if I go to the product table, I mean menu items table, right? And uh, let's go here and you can see we have ID also for every single menu. Right. So I need to know the ID also. So here I'm going to pass one more parameter, the reference. You can see we have passing uh, user ID and Okay, so uh, I need to add one more parameter first. So the parameter I need to say here and here. Okay, I need to give comma. Okay, and I need to say here, let's say menu ID, menu underscore ID. 
and I want to say here that what to PHP question mark like this and I want to echo the column name from the row variable so the row variable is containing all the uh, column all the column values from the on this menu items table so here you can see we have id so i will say and row id i'm getting the id also right from the order tb sorry menu items so go back here and refresh once again and now i want to order now and here you can see i'm getting user id 103 and menu id 1012 so i'm getting all the id perfectly so now let's go to the next page and here i have to receive all the ids right so i will say here that php script question mark like this and here i'm going to uh, start session first session starts why because i need to track the user all right uh, and i need to include the connection because i need to fetch uh, through the user id and everything and i need to fetch them from the database so i need the connection also so I have, uh, you know, sesh, start session and connection. Now I will actually set here some condition. I'm going to say that if you set uh, any user ID or not. So I'll say if you set the method and here I'm going to say that dollar underscore super global variable session. We have any user ID or not. We'll check it. Okay. If you set dollar underscore session user ID. So now we are checking that uh, if there is any session user ID or not. So if not any user ID, so we'll say else, uh, we'll actually redirect him to the login place. Location, login dot PHP. Exit. If we find any user ID, I mean, uh, we have user, right? So we'll check one more thing. That is if dollar underscore session super global variable type. So we have uh, set in the login.php that we have a user type. So the session variable is user type. Let me copy it and paste it here. So we'll check that if user type is equal to, we want to paste uh, the type uh, is user. All right. Because we have only two type and one is user. Uh, let me go to the user table. Here you can see we have two type admin type and user type so we are checking here that if the type is user or not so if the type is user then uh, it will do something and if the type is admin okay then we'll actually redirect into the admin so we'll say location location admin slash admin dashboard admin dashboard dot php now here I'm going to say that okay. Now I check that if dollar uh, is set dollar underscore super global variable get the variable from here uh, from the index space. So where is index space here? So you can see that we are passing two parameter. All right, uh, one is user ID and another one is menu id so we have to uh, receive them so i'm checking here that if we set any um, you know get variable or not so we'll say here that okay if variable then we'll actually uh, paste here the variable name and the first one is user id and the second one so we are uh, receiving user id and dollar get dollar underscore get the variable is uh, id or uh, not really uh, so we have to go here and here you can see our variable is user id so we have to go here and I have to paste it here and the next variable is menu id okay so i have to say the menu id and i have to receive them so i will say dollar user id square id is equal to copy it paste it and i'll say dollar menu id underscore id or item id let's say item underscore id is equal to dollar get menu id okay if i go to the order table uh, here you can see we have uh, uh, id customer id customer name then item name and status so uh, i'm going to actually change here something structure you can see i have item name so i i don't need item name here okay 
I'll actually drop it. I don't need it, uh, customer name also, so I will drop it. I will add here uh, ID, customer ID, and I will add after customer ID, we will add one more column, and that ID will be order ID, uh, sorry, menu ID, okay? So the menu ID or item ID. Item ID, okay? Sorry, it here item ID. I mean, which item actually I'm, I have ordered or customer ordered, okay? Item underscore ID. And we know in the menu items we have the ID, right? One or one or ones one oh one 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 would one two. Okay. So we need to know the ID. So here uh, this is the integer form. Okay. Now save it. So in our table we have to add them. And uh, after that, when I need to know the customer details and product details, we can actually join uh, all the tables, right? To join query. Okay. So I will actually do this. And now uh, you can see we are getting user ID and item ID, right? So now we have to set the status. So I will say status and by default, it should be pending. All right. All right. Pending status should be pending by default because here I can see we have pending and delivered. So the uh, ordered, uh, if, that, if the order is delivered, then it will actually update through the admin delivered. Okay. So here, let me just give the semicolon. And now I need to uh, do the query. So I will say here dollar SQL is equal to the query. And that is insert into the table is menu items or not. Sorry, uh, not really. Uh, the process is uh, order. Okay. I mean, table is order. Yes, orders. So insert into orders. And you have to mention all the column from the orders table. Let's go to the orders table. Uh, where is orders table? Okay, browse. And here you can see. Uh, we need ID, so ID will be automatically incremented and item ID. Uh, okay, let me just keep here item ID, say so chicken back. Okay, so I'm going to copy it. It's here. Okay, so uh, now let's go here and so we need what customer ID, item ID, and status. We have customer ID. Okay, so we say here customer underscore id column and then item id item underscore id then status and you have to set values so values then have to pass all the parameter the first one is dollar user id comma single quotation dollar item item id comma single quotation uh, this is status now we need to execute the query so result is equal to my SQL IPD. Here I will say that dollar one dollar SQL and say not dollar result will actually echo it. Echo the result uh, error. Okay, so I'll say error. Say else. Uh, I'm going to set here message variable message and here I'm going to say that okay the message is ordered added successfully. And I want to show the uh, message in the index div. I can say here header. And here I'm going to pass message uh, a variable. Okay. So I'm going to say here that variable message right here PHP script. So I'll say here PHP. I'm going to say here echo dollar message. Now we have to go to the index. And here the card actually I'm going to show this message. So here I will say that PHP question mark. I will say if. Okay, uh, not really. Yeah, I will say if is set and the variable would be this one messes, or I can say here messes underscore added messes. Okay, I'll say added messes. So I want to copy it, I'm going to go to the index and I have to paste it here. So I'm uh, checking here that if we set any get method uh, called added message. So we'll actually enter here. And I'm going to say here that I want to create a variable here that is message is equal to the radio. And here actually I'm going to add a paragraph. And I'm going to say here that, uh, yeah, okay, I have to close it at first. Paragraph, 
I will actually paste it. So here we have to close the if condition uh, also, right? Th. So I'm uh, closing the if condition here. Okay. And I've said message and I want to paste the message here. So I will say php like this and echo the message dollar message. Okay. And I want to refresh. Okay, so let me check once again in the order item. So here you can see we have a checking here. Okay. And okay. Now let's go and check. So let's say I want to order this one. So order now. Here you can see that I have order user ID uh, 103102. So let me check if it is added or not. No, it's not added. Okay. So you just have to close it. So what I have to do, we have to give here two is set. Let's say the first is set and the second is set. So I'll say here set. Second. Okay. So we are checking here that if it's set dollar i user ID and it's set dollar uh, get menu ID. Okay. And I'll go back and refresh. Order now. Okay. So I got the problem here. You can see uh, I have used here comma. So we just have to give here you know and sign and now let's check if it work or not so refresh order now okay now uh, actually i think we have added the order right so let's go to the order table and refresh okay now you can see the customer id is 103 and yeah it's order uh, has been added successfully right and uh, you can see that we have you know passed up Message in the index, and I have shown it here. I want to show it here, okay? So, uh, I want to actually show it here. So, I will add it from here. I want to paste it here. So, in the header function, you can see that I have, uh, you know, use it like this. So, let me just remove it. And what we have to do, we have to concatenate it, and then we have to say a function that is encode. Uh, sorry, URL encode, okay? URL encode. Encode. And here as the parameter, I have to pass this variable. So we have to say here dollar the variable. That's it. And now let's check if it is working perfectly. So mm, I'm going to refresh it once again. And we have order now. So I can click on order now. And here you can see order added successfully. We have it. But actually, I don't want to show it like this. I want to go to the index.php and here, uh, you know, outside this product card, I'm going to fetch it. So I'm going to cut it from here. Okay. And here, I'm going to add it. And here, I just have to mention uh, in it. Here. And uh, if I refresh, now you can see order added successfully. All right. And actually, I want to set here style. Only for this, and I will say that okay. I want to set color green, and I want to. You know, want to change it to H three. Let's say H two. Okay, H two. Refresh. Now you can see order added success. If I refresh, now you can see I have added multiple orders. Okay, so we have done it successfully. Uh, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.